Hi, in this video you'll learn how to protect your fruit tree from mushrooms. Mushrooms are fruits of fungi. They grow at the bottom of the tree or on its trunk. Not all fungi are bad for the tree. Some are good and they form symbiotic relationship with it. They protect it and they give it nutrition. Mushrooms come in different sizes, shapes and types. Most basically, a mushroom has a cap, below the cap it has grills and pores, then between the cap and the sole you can see a stem, also known as type or stalk. Around the stem some have a ring and plenty of mushrooms, specifically the poisonous ones have a vulva at the bottom. Of course, mushrooms vary in shapes, color and size by a lot. Some looks like a trumplets, others look like stars, there's a lots of one that look like sponge, or they can even look like a nest and can have plenty of other wonderful shapes. Some have hair, other are hollow, the cap can be convex, spherical, flat, conical, or it can look like a funnel, and so on. Some mistakenly think that a mushroom is a plant, but it's not. One of the fungi you should remember is honey fungus. They are bad for the tree. This type of honey mushrooms takes many forms. The most common type grows in a clump. It has conical cap when young, then it's flattened out as it ages. It's brownish in color. The grills and stems are white or golden yellow, and with time they darken to become brownish. The spores themselves are white. Some of them will have white ring or double ring high around the stem. They will smell good, and some are edible, but not all type of honey mushrooms are edible. They can be easily confused with the deadly gallerina. They kill trees, large or small, and spread beneath the surface to infect your entire garden and trees. Honey fungus is a white rot fungus, and there's no commercial treatment of chemical can kill this fungi. Here's how it works. Most of the fungus biomass consists of unseen mass growing inside the plant tissues and beneath the soil. So when you cut down the mushroom, you didn't solve the problem. Some mushroom can be cured, but not honey mushroom and fungi. So you best off to prevent it. So honey mushrooms will grow between late summer and early winter. When you see it, one thing you can do is to cut down the tree and to excavate and dig deep down and they remove the infected roots because you want to stop the spread and then when you remove the roots burn them so you don't accidentally place them in a place where there's other trees you can prevent this infection by not over watering so you wanna water only when needed because excess water can cause the roots to rot and the trunk to rot and this is where the mushrooms grow, on rotted roots. Mushrooms in general are bad for the trees. They shock the roots, then eat and decompose the tree and the trunk. Some causes the trunk to become hollow and large trees to suddenly break and fall on house and cause damage and God forbid injuries. You'll see the leaves on the tree becoming pale and yellowish and they won't flower. The upper part of the tree and branches will die and some of the bark will crack. Now some people love mushrooms. They go, they hunt for them and it's still to have and other harvest and plant them. But this is not for this video. The purpose of this video is to protect you and protect your tree from mushrooms. So here what you can do when you're faced with this problem. One, always water less. Buy a moisture detector, place it in the soil, and water only when you need to. You save on water, and the plant live healthier and greener. Another thing you can do, if possible, to distance your trees from the infected area. And then, in extreme cases, you'll have to dig out and excavate the infected roots and burn them. You can always call for help. Arborists are experts and able to come in and do some testing, especially since much of the problem is invisible. 
The risk is big, you can lose your entire garden, or worse, be faced with a life or death situation. There's fungicide, and they're commercially available. These will stop many types of fungus and mushrooms. In certain cases, you may have to do and dig out some research to learn the type of mushroom you have, but be careful, plenty looks alike. Don't ever assume a mushroom is edible, unless if you're sure of it and you know exactly what you're looking for. I'll add few links below for some of the fungicide you can use. So fungicides comes in many different ways to use them. Here's one of the options from uh, liquid copper RTS and uh, it attaches to the garden hose and you spray it with water. It's good for the fruit tree, for citrus trees and for nut trees. The good thing about this one is you spray it over the entire garden including the lawn so it takes away the entire disease from large areas. I hope you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe and to leave a like.